Welcome to Heathen's Garage. What we really needed was another project because I was running out of things to do at home. So, you know, we've never had a big block Ford. Look at this, see? Eh? It is a 1979 Ford Scamper. It is powered by a 460 Ford. And best of all, it's all mine. Just look at the red, orange interior. This is so nice. Look at it, it's got a hole inside. We can live in here if we want to, when things go real south. It's even got air conditioning. This is gonna be good right here. Now, on the downside, it hasn't run for a couple of years. And it was parked because it was not running well. But, you know, we got some friends and there's a guy with us that, well, he's probably forgotten more than I'll ever know about cars. So I guess this is our first revival from a different site, taking it back home. It's not very far, but it's like a big revival anyways. Look at it, it's got, uh, it's got, Tires, they're 16.5, so they'll be impossible to replace a little bit. It's okay. These ones, these ones have a bit of tread on them. They'll make her home. Besides, there's two of them, so you can pop one. It's even got an awning. Now, I've never had a motorhome with an awning before. This is going to be great. It's just so big. Look at how large it is. Look at that, eh? Now we gotta, I guess we gotta make it run. All right, now how do we get the hood open in this thing? The good news is we've got keys. And the keys are actually made of aluminum, which is weird. Yeah, the battery's dead. That's not a huge surprise. I don't know how to open the hood. Uh, here? Oh, maybe. Maybe not. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Yeah. Look at that. We have here a 460 Ford. It's got a battery over there and a battery over there. And they're both dead. So we have one replacement, which means we'll disconnect one and replace the other and everything will be fine. I think I better get the doghouse off so we can have a look at the engine from the other side. Now, supposedly this should just need a carburetor a battery and then we're gonna hit the road so that probably assuredly won't be what happens but we're gonna try that anyways all right now how do we get this dog hose out that one's released and that one's released is there bolts or things what's going on here doesn't feel like it moves yet oh there's a bolt there Oops. And I bet there's a bolt here somewhere. Oh. This that carpet's a little fragile. Okay. Got a bolt there and a bolt on the other side and then hopefully this thing comes off. This is our first struggle. So far the uh well this isn't good. This is the short version. It's actually cracked across right here. It's stuck. And it's covered with stuff that I don't really want to get on my clothes. But, you know, it'll be fine. Oh boy. I wonder if I brought any sandpaper. New battery. Installed. I need to find some sandpaper for these terminals. This is not gonna... That's... That is not clean enough. We got the positive hooked up already and... 
just let's do a little spark test there. There is definitely sparks, so that's something's drawing power. And we're not sure what's gonna happen when we go to crank it because the other battery is still hooked up and I think I might have to disconnect it completely to make this work, but we don't even know which battery is the starting battery and which battery is the running the stuff inside battery. So we're just gonna start here, see what happens. All right, let's see if something happens. <laughs> Something happens. The good news is we've got a starter. There's like buttons and switches and things in here, and I have no idea what they do. This stick is in my way. Alright, we're just gonna pull this off so we can see what the choke's doing. Now it's got what appears to be a Holly 4 barrel. And conveniently, I have brought a Holly 4 barrel with us so that, you know, it's just to pull it off and put the new one on and then hopefully it works. But we're just going to see if we have any ignition if I give it a little squirt of, squirt of sauce, you know. We know it's run in the last two years, so I'm not overly concerned about hurting anything by starting it on ether. Like, there's oil up there. second. Ideally we'd use gasoline or something instead of brake clean but that's what I have so this is what we're using. Okay we know we have spark. That's a good sign. I think before I kill the only battery we have just going to go ahead, pull the doghouse, pull the carburetor, put a different carburetor on it, and we'll see if we're winning. Lovely wife pointed out, hey, maybe you should check the oil. I did. Um, there isn't any, so you don't have to worry about that at all. At least I, you know, checked it after we started it instead of before. That's I always like to do things in due process. Okay. We got to get this out of here. Oh boy. It only seems like everything leaking. Over there. I'm going to get this off of here. I think this comes out through the front. Oh boy, the linkages on this thing are very complicated. It's um, a little different than our other carburetor. We're gonna go get it and have a look. Oh dear. <clears throat> so what's different and what's the same? <sighs> the fuel is in a different spot altogether. It's linkage for the transmission. I don't know if we've got the technology to hook that up. That's just kick down anyways. We don't care about that too much. I don't have this vacuum port, but I don't think it matters. It's a different kind of choke, so we won't have any choke. Right. I don't know what this liter of oil it would have in it. So I can figure out where it dumps in. There was a funnel in here. Oh. I didn't see it. Okay. This is right beside it. Oh, didn't notice it. Okay. Well, I got more. You want more? How much, um, how much you down? I lost the stick, but now I'm at the ad line. So we're okay. Yeah. yeah. That, but like you say, once you get her going, you know. Yeah. Do you have that fuel? I got the fuel. Yeah. I got sure. Let's try a little fuel and see what happens. My carburetor, it'll work, but it's not the same. 
So, old buddy Ian, he had a can of true fuel, which is significantly better than what we were trying to use. So, we're just gonna dump a bit in there, everywhere. That'll be fine. Did you hit the key there, boss? Oh, I disconnected the battery. You did. Hold for service. Yeah, let's try that now. profusely leaking and that was the concern of why it needed a carburetor but I'm not really bothered by a carburetor leak so we're gonna just pull it out of this yard so we're you know out of the gentleman's area we'll pull it onto the street and then uh, you know put a plate on it and I guess we'll try and drive it that's pretty quick revival but there's, there's just not much wrong with it I don't know if we get to call it a revival. We put a battery in it and started it, but whatever, we're gonna give it a try. The left rear tip has completely gone away and it's quiet as a mouse now, so that's good. We're gonna try and drive it for the first time. We're going into gear. Feel, feels like it's got some brakes. Still running? We have what feels like a gear. Oh yeah, it's moving. Oh, it's stalled. It's quite tight back here. This might be tricky. You got about seven feet. I got what? Seven feet. Seventy feet, good. No, we Is that it? Two feet. Two feet. Yeah. This thing's pretty good. It's got forward gear and a backwards gear. It's just great. We're gonna park her on the street over here and that'll just be that. This is, this is shaping up to be a very easy day. Carburetor's leaking like a sieve, but also all the screws are loose, so maybe we'll get lucky. We have driven it around the block. We are at a gas station now, and I guess we'll throw some gas in it. It kind of smokes profusely. <laughs> I don't think it could be richer than it is currently, but... We'll just carry on and see what happens. Alright, we have some fuel. We put some air in the tires. Like, it's, uh... I didn't manage to lean the carburetor out at all, but... It's fine, because we put the dock house back in, so I wouldn't smell it. So, like, we're just, we're hitting the road now. We're, we're headed for broke. Or, well, hopefully home. Hopefully we're not going broke. It's got kind of quite a vibration, but aside from that, like, it seems like it's just great. Driving down the road, it smokes black a lot. 
but for the most part it seems fine we're just we're just cruising along now no big problems <laughs> Can tell that this is actually a 460 is the fact that we've been driving for 45 minutes and we're on our second fuel stop so yeah everything's going fine though no complaints yet he's a bit large and in charge hey eh? look at that beautiful rig a bunch of trouble it's just it's here and it works now what we gotta do is we're gonna fix this and then like we want to go inside and I'll give you a tour and just the way that it is right now not the way that it will be after we clean it hopefully but I gotta get this undone somehow first you don't have a key for this lock but we sure would like the door to open so it's kind of just gonna get you know one of these. Now you don't have to worry about that. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. That's that's the only thing that keeps the door closed. Is this latching or something? Latch. Yeah, right there. Oh yeah. That seems high quality. Elvis, you're pretty interested, hey? Eh? Here's a step, bud. How about I get you the step first? Elvis, back up. Back, back up. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. That was a pretty big yeah. jump for a guy like you. All right. Thank you. Here it is. 
Look at all the wood cabinets. It's got a kitchen sink and a stove. And I haven't opened any of those. It'll be all right. They'll be. You never know what treasure. Oh, look, we've got some free tin foil and plates. I swear this cabinet is exactly the same exactly. as our last mother home. Is this? What is it? Digestive. Dairy digestive supplement. Oh, lactose pills. Good. Hey, look at it. Expired in 2019. Free screwdrivers. What do you got under here? Oh. Dishes. Cool. Okay. We got some nothing in there. Oh, yeah. Silververse. What do you think, Elvis? You want some tablecloths? There's the fan. Oh, it's secure. It is. Yep, that's just part of the building now. Got a big old fridge. Yeah, that's a nice size. Yeah, it's. It doesn't smell. Happily has nothing in it and doesn't smell bad. What is this? Hmm. Air conditioning? No, air oh. conditioning is right here. We do have it. This is. Carbon monoxide alarm? That doesn't work. Oh. What do you see? Complimentary map. Oh, nice. That's good. An overwhelming amount of antifreeze. Hey, Elvis. Are you concerned about that? No? Okay. We got the bedroom. That's kind of a low ceiling. Oh, and the vents are open. Okay. Well, that, it's not particularly wet. I expect we will be searching for a different mattress anyways. It's uh, a little springy, you know? Well, this, you're just really making yourself right at home, eh? Seems all right to you, doesn't it? Now, how about the facilities? Um, well, the vent lid's gone. It's broken off. And, uh, yeah. Looks like we've got some games. A sink with a bunch of dead flies. Oh, we have a above the cabinet. Oh, some storage with some free clothes. And a blanket. Ah, that's pretty good. Oh, there's some manufacturer information that could be useful. Oh, bean bags. They're wet and disgusting. Pretty cool. I love the updated flooring. You're just right chapped about this. Hey, Elvis, is this pretty good? Do you think it's good? You like it? Luna doesn't even want to come inside. Girl. She oh. says she doesn't like the metal step. Hey, hey, is this pretty good? What do you think? Not so bad, hey? Is this interesting to you? A good cleaning a couple of times, and it might be alright. Yeah, I think it will be. Well, folks, that's like the big motorhome purchase. That's That's how we spent this Saturday. Probably the next four Saturdays we'll be cleaning it out and getting it ready to go camping in, but I don't know. I guess that'll be that for this episode. That'll be this for that episode? You know what I mean. Thanks for watching and subscribing. We'll see you next time. Bye.